What's going on guys? How's it going? Uh, that one guy here and Kabam has dropped big intel on us, uh, big news on us. Apparently Megatron is going to be a playable character and it's going to be released in October. So let's just go through the uh, bot intel report of Megatronus. Uh, so based on what we already know, he's going to be demolitions. And uh, so we will get to add him into our roster in October 4th at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So description, one of the 13 primes created by Primus himself to defeat Unicron. Megatronus is a being of unparalleled strength and his quest, well, his quest for greater power led him to betray his fellow primes, resulting in a, in a millennia of banishment. That banishment has ended, and his presence again looms large through the cosmos. So let's just go through his uh, stats and abilities. Uh, not sure why they're not showing the four-star uh, health, attack, and max rating stats, but uh, oh well. Sorry, the five-star, not the four-star. Uh, but yeah, here's uh, here's his abilities. So his passive, now in possession of a powerful power, powerful relics, Megatronus does not generate power as normal. He instead passively generates 1.2% of max power every second. Megatronus begins the fight with a relic of fury. Each time he gains a power of bar, or bar of power, he, alienate, uh, he alternates between relic of fury and relic of preservation. And what the Relic of Fury does is that it grants 30 to 50% attack rating and reduces the opponent's block proficiency by 20%. So that's the thing that really was putting the hurt on on us uh, when, when, when we were going through the Master Spotlight. Is that thing, that's a huge boost actually. That's really huge. And then uh, his Relic of Preservation. The Relic of Preservation grants 40 to 50% damage resistance and limits the amount of damage Megatronus can receive in a single blow to 20% of his max health. Whoa. Okay, yeah, no wonder he was a uh, tough cookie. And then Relic of Immortality. Once per fight, when Megatronus hits 10% health, he, re he activates the Matrix of Immortality. In, in addition to his other relics for 10 seconds, while the relic is active, Megatronus is indestructible and immune to all damage. This ability will not activate if Megatronus begins the fight with 10% health or less. Okay, are they actually going to seriously release this guy? Because he's so boosted. It's insane. Last hit of a light or medium combo. 40% critical chance. Heavy attack. 100% chance to apply dark burn. Dealing 40% of attack as instant energy damage. Dude, this is nuts. Holy crap. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's see what else there is. Uh, signature ability, Relic of Obedience. The Relic of Obedience weakens enemies' ability and may completely prevent them from activating. Yeah, we already saw this. Uh, let me turn that down, sorry. <laughs> uh, when filling a bar of power... Megatronus gains a bar of power. He has 15 to 65 percent chance of to activate the relic of obedience, preventing an uh, opponent from activating buffs or debuffs for eight seconds. Additionally, when the relic is not active, buffs and debuffs the opponent activates are 20 percent weaker. That's that's actually really good. That's a really good uh, signature. Special one, grip of power, infinite power to feel infinite wrath. 60% chance Megatronus applies a 30% armor break for eight seconds. It's actually really good against Primal in, in AM. If the Relic of Fury is active, 100% chance to steal 20 to 30%. Whoa, did that happen to me when I was playing in this? Well, actually no, because every time he hit me, I would die in an instant. So I, I guess I would never experience him stealing my power. But that's actually really nice. Uh, special two, all fall before his might, beyond measure. Uh, the last hit of us of this attack is unblockable, and has a thirty percent chance to stun the opponent for three seconds. If the relic of preservation is active, hundred percent. What? 
100% chance to steal life from opponent equal to 6. Oh my god, man. This guy better be locked from being playable in AM because I'm telling you, everybody's going to be running Megatronus. Sheet. Sheet. Okay. Special 3, truly prime. Your final days are at hand. 100% chance to apply Dark Burn, dealing 200% of attack and... <laughs> As instant energy damage. If the Relic of Fury is active, 50 to 64% chance to steal. <laughs> oh god, to steal 20 to 30% current power. If the Relic of Preservation is active. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> I'm oh, just imagining just how ridiculous. Alliance fishes will be. Synergy. <laughs> Synergy bonus. Mutual ally, Cyclonus, and Galvatron. Standard 8% armor. Uh, enemies, Optimus Prime. I'm guessing that's G1 Prime. Uh, he gets 8% attack. Outgoing, the Fallen, Megatron. Megatron, Return of the Fallen. All Decepticons on your team gain 2 to 5% armor while fighting Decepticons and 5 to 20% power rate while fighting Autobots. Okay, listen, this guy has to be on everybody's Alliance mission roster. I don't care how you feel about him. I don't care if you're an Autobot purist. If you don't have him on your team, you're an idiot. Okay, I, I take that back. That's actually harsh. You're a fool. <laughs> Because, yeah, strong matchups. Everyone, there is no bot that, can, <laughs> that cannot, uh, that Megatron cannot overpower. Uh, Megatron will find his namesake need no buffs to be formidable. Optimus Prime, Prime. If Optimus is relying on the help of his chief medical officer, the relic of obedience will put a stop to that notion. Yeah. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. That's why I didn't bring uh, Ratchet along with my roster. Because he just, yeah, it just, it was, it was pointless. Weak matchup. No one, no one stands a serious challenger. Yeah, of course. And then, yeah, Rhinox Power Lock will keep this Mighty Decepticon from switching modes. Shockwave, Repair Block, and Power Drain will keep this Prime from tapping to his true power. I think they should also add Wheeljack there. Uh, <laughs> with Nano Repair. Uh, recommended mods. Robot resource and prime module. Yeah, um, guys, this this is this is ridiculous, man. Um, I don't know what to say. He's going to be so overpowered. What is Kabam thinking? I mean, it's pretty cool that we get to play as him, but this guy is freaking boosted. It's 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 pretty ridiculous. I mean, his special three, where is it? Special three. 100% chance to apply dark burn, dealing 200% of attack as instant energy damage. Okay, even if you have uh, a four star, like, you know, maxed out everything, uh, not forged at 880, whatever it was, that's like 1600 damage right there. Just for just for having dark it's just and like the chance to 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 steal the power and steal life god man it's just going to be ridiculous like i i i imagine him um like okay here's here's what i'm seeing what a good am team would be alliance mission team sorry if i if i ever alliance am when i say that i mean alliance mission Megatronus, Optimus Prime, and Ratchet, or even Wheeljack. Those three would be a pretty good, like, solid choice for Alliance Mission. Actually, you know what? Take out Wheeljack. No, no, no. I mean, uh, <clears throat> take out... <sighs> take out Optimus Prime. 
you leave Wheeljack there with Nano Repair, and you're going to have uh, Megatronus. And then your third can be whatever you like. You can even put in Megatron if you if you really care. Um, the only reason why I'm saying Optimus Prime is, you know, he gets that plus extra 8% damage. But yeah, guys, this is just... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what Kabam has in store. Um, if he is the October bot, the sole October bot, because um, yeah, he's he's really overpowered. He's really overpowered, man. But anyway, guys, that's that's all I have to say. Um, let me know what your thoughts are, and uh, I'm gonna so so a little update. I have actually been recording a few games of my Alliance mission. And uh, I just need to edit some parts out. For example, the attack rating and scores and all that stuff. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys will see that soon. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. Bye now.